There are so many Backrooms games on Steam. So many that I don't have the budget to own every single one on my Steam library. I've only played 5 out of the 6 that I have on my Steam library. Inside of the Backrooms is too confusing for me to learn. This was the only time where YouTube wasn't a good source. So the reason why I decided to make this video you're watching right now in the first place was because a few weeks ago, a new gameplay trailer of Subliminal dropped. And it looks amazing. I mean the graphics and visuals look better than real life. After watching the trailer, my brain decided to finally grow a brain cell, so I made this video. It's pretty much about my appreciation for games based around the backrooms. However, you're only going to see 5 of the backrooms games in this video because I don't feel like spending another dime on something that's not on my high priority list. And also, learning inside the backrooms while recording this video is too painful to do. The Backrooms game is the first ever Backrooms game to exist on Steam. Back then, it only followed the 4chan post concept, which is posted way back in 2019. The game is pretty much a walking simulator that takes place in a long, randomly generated map. And you must check your watch every 30 seconds, or else you end up needing therapy because your sanity has decided to delete itself. I will be honest, the game actually did scare me, simply because I was too afraid to look behind me because I thought something was following me from behind, but I just kept going straight. From the looks of it, I wasn't expecting this game to scare me in the first place, since the map looked like something from a very bad Robux game. The game it wasn't very the best, but I did like the fear factor it had contained. Now, there was no other levels back in the time, since the game was created when only level 0 existed, and liminal spaces didn't really have much of a role back in the time, so there's not much you could do to make an enjoyable back in this game, but at least Pi and a Play tried their best in achieving the great history. Now, I already made a 6 minute video on the complex found footage, so I'm going to try not to say too much about that game, but there's another called Expedition, which is technically a prequel of found footage, since found footage takes place in the year 1990, and Expedition takes place in the year 1988. ISO has really improved the quality ever since this last Backrooms game, Found Footage. I really like the idea that there's a complete story in Complex Expedition and Found Footage. You don't really see that much in Backrooms games since most of them are usually in demo releases or just haven't been released yet. I'm glad that the Complex Expedition was able to bring back returning locations from Found Footage, like the Pearl Rooms, the area that Resistant urged to make a monkey business reference about, and that one location with all the exit signs that I do not know the name of. My favorite location in Expedition has got to be the mall. I really like mall levels in video games and in liminal spaces. They have this nostalgic vibe to it. However, I hope one day in the future someone out there could develop a mall liminal space backrooms game. If that ever happens, I would definitely be there no matter what. <laughs> Expedition ends similarly how found footage ends. Both endings didn't end happily ever after. The camera skydives back into reality, and it shows the microwave, I mean magwave logo. It really shows that the backrooms just do not like people. Source, it was revealed to me in a dream. Yes, you hear me talking about the new game every time on the channel, and not shut up about it. But this is easily the best backrooms game in my opinion. Fancy's doing an amazing job by cooking up this game. In fact, he's continued to do so as a couple of weeks ago, he shared a new look from his Discord server on one of the new levels that are coming in the next update. Now, I'm not going to sit here and analyze it because I'm saving it for another video when he shares another new look at a new level, then I'll analyze it. Now, there's so much that this game has to offer, like complete pitch darkness, the neighbor's annoying barking dogs, a secure breach reference, as well as a dark deception reference, and also that one room in that hotel that's located all the way into London that I completely forgot the name of. And the excuse for not knowing what the name is? British. This game never gets boring for me, but I'm still hoping for that level sector option, so I don't have to replay the entire story just to replay my favorite levels. Huh? However, Fancy did mention in this last video that he's adding new features so the game can become more replayable. People do say this game is a lot more fun for friends, which I agree, but I could find myself to be one of the few people that enjoyed this game on single player and VR mode as well. I am looking forward to the game's future, and I believe it's going to be a great one. Dreamcore is the newest backrooms game that was recently released. Well, kinda. The game only has a demo, and the demo only contains the pool rooms at the moment, or dream pools as this game likes to call it. 
Dream Core is another walking simulator, but the place is so massive that you want to go back into the game and explore the parts of the game that you didn't explore before. I do love how the structures are built. The way the pool rooms were built in this game resemble places from dreams, if you dreamed about indoor pools that is. But this is some happy happy fun I want to see here forever dream. There is a monster and it will greet you with the bad ending if you get too close to it. The entire map has different unique locations. There is that really eerie place with that eerie chanting, the happy zone which you should definitely take your kids to, tons and tons of slides that you cannot enter, the blue tile complex, and whatever that statue is. I mean, it is easy to get lost unless you memorize the entire layout, which I doubt anybody could since the place is too big to memorize, except for the areas where you spawned. Dream Core is one of those games where I don't get bored of exploring since every location is something new and interesting to see, which I really like, and I hope more backers games do this. Now, the Steam page did tease two more locations that it, this game could give us, which is level 94, and the other could be the abandoned office, level 4, but I might be wrong, but definitely level 94 is coming soon, and I can't wait to see how this one plays out. We have reached the end of this video, and I do see a bright future for Backup's games. Of course, I wasn't going to cover every single game, since most Backup's games cost money, and I'm pretty sure I don't have enough to pay for every Backup's game. But yeah, that's the end of this video. See ya.